Hello friends! I'm Jessica and this is episode 6 of Weird and Wonderful Things. And today's thing is brought to you by my absolute favorite time of the year to go thrifting, Halloween. <laughs> and I, I love Halloween because they put out the vintage stuff and all of the quirky weird stuff that they never put out any other time of the year. They like save up and chuck out at Halloween and I love it. It's very on brand for me. So this piece I was walking to check out and there was a line covering the last sort of uh, sort of rack of Halloween stuff and this woman rocked forward and I just saw out of the corner of my eye some shiny things and I like shiny things. So I ran over there to grab it and it was this piece. And you're gonna have to come on a journey with me because it's large. She's a large piece. And it's actually the first time I've seen it displayed in all of its glory. So we're experiencing this together. So this is a traditional Japanese uchikake kimono, which is basically an ornamental over kimono. So this would be worn kind of a, your special occasion kimono, if you will. So underneath it, would be your sort of undergarment layer, and then there would be a, a short sleeve kimono layer, and then your beautiful obi tied, and then this piece would go on top. It's worn over and open, and it sort of elongates in the back. Now these are a silk robe, fully lined, and they are clearly ornamented with this incredible embroidery, and these motifs mean uh, different things for for every flower or for every motif that you see on an uchikake, it is symbolizing something specifically meant for that couple or for that person. So these are chrysanthemums and chrysanthemums uh, are a sign of nobility and longevity. And it's just, I just think it is some of the most stunning embroidery work I've ever seen. Often they would even put um, gold and silver foil, silver foil right into the fabric or even sometimes into the thread, which there are a couple places on here that you can see that there's uh, the thread is really bright and vibrant gold. And so those are the pieces with the foil in into the thread itself that kind of give it that extra pop. So these were worn uh, all the way back in 1100 by uh, samurai royalty families, like affluent samurai families. Their wives would wear these uh, casually around the house like you do. And um, then as it sort of trickled down a little bit, you got to uh, ladies in waiting, the highest level of geisha. Uh, these kinds of women were wearing uh, the uchikakes. And then Finally, as they became a little bit more mainstream, as we kind of move forward, you, you would see them in performances and for weddings. And that is still what they're used for. This is not sort of your everyday, this is not your everyday kimono. This is a very, this is a fancy friend. Another thing that characterizes these pieces is this really cool part um, that no other kimono would have. This is uh, specific to the uchikake, which is uh, this piece called the fuki. And it's all the way at the bottom here. And it's like this thick layer of wadding um, and what this does is it not only keeps the garment away from the feet of the wearer, but it also causes this perspective, this forced perspective thing. So it looks like whoever is wearing this is, is taller. It gives us this view of height because this piece has drug the garment behind it. So it, it you look taller. Who doesn't want to look taller and not fall down on their wedding? No one. It's magic. Um, so this piece I bought for what would be expensive for me in a thrift store. It would be a big buy, but clearly this is worth it. Uh, and I got it half off. It was marked $44. I actually think the arc tag is still attached. I've had it for about two years now because I, I just, I've been cleaning it up. Uh, it had a few stains on it and I couldn't quite part with it, but I am going to list it. It is going to be listed for just over $700. So we love that. Um, this is an incredibly rare find. Uh, I think you can find cool stuff in a thrift store all the time, but this was actually um, really a spectacular day for, th for thrifting, clearly. Um, so thanks for coming back. And I hope that you get to go home and feel fancy and put on your own uchikake, or you can come over and try this one on if you'd like. And have a wonderful rest of your day. And I hope to see you for episode seven. Come on now, it's coming soon.